And now to the big updates from polling phase one as the first phase of polling for the Lok Sabha elections concluded yesterday. Tamil Nadu BJP chief and Coimbatore Lok Sabha constituency candidate K. Annamalai alleged harassment of BJP voters by the DMK. Annamalai alleged political interference to deter voters from voting for the BJP. He also alleged that there were many names from missing from the voters list. However, in an exclusive conversation with CNN News 18 later, he said that he was happy with the voter turnout and said that he was confident of BJP his victory as well. Responding to the allegations by the BJP, DMK said that the party only is being delusional and is afraid of losing as well. Now, CNN News 18 spoke to K. Anamalai about his allegations against the DMK. Take a look at what he had to say in that exclusive conversation with us. What's the feedback on ground? We're given to see the latest numbers about 72% vote share, uh, voter turnout, beg your pardon, voter turnout in Coimbatore. Uh, sir, one, I think uh, with all humility, we are uh, very happy that uh, the people of Tamil Nadu have turned out in large numbers. Uh, generally, the urban areas are normally the culprit areas in Tamil Nadu. This time you see Coimbatore from 63 to 72%. Chennai has gone up by 10 percentage points just like that, sir. And uh, Madurai, Tirunal Valley and all urban areas, big, big, big swing. We are extremely happy and delighted. Of course, rural parts of Tamil Nadu, as usual, they voted out in big numbers. But we're extremely happy with the initial ground level reports. And uh, we have been consistent that the BJP will be close to 25%, the NDA will be 30-35%, and the seats will be in double digit. Uh, we, we will deliver it on June 4th because it is Modi's magic in the ground. And everywhere, beneficiaries turned out in huge numbers. And the people who want Modi to continue uh, for five more years, they turned out in huge, huge numbers. And the anger against DMK was palpable. Uh, we could see the booth, we could see the tables outside the polling booths where DMK was and uh, we are extremely confident that uh, uh, June 4th will be a historic chapter in Tamil Nadu's political history. Tamil Nadu will surely move away from the post Dravidian politics and uh, that will be an important marker. 70 years Tamil Nadu has waited mm. and uh, June 4th will, will herald the new arrival, a civilizational uh, revival, uh, resurgence mm. thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister Modi, not only politically sir, uh, culturally mm. also. Tamil Nadu is waiting for one leader who could uh, awaken culturally, spiritually as and the Honorable Prime Minister has done it and we are truly, truly grateful for that. You, I might sound confident today, but 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 the numbers speak for it. And we are reading clear clear trends on the ground and June 4th will be historic for us. Sir. Well, all the best to you on that. But what changed between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m.? Anjumani to Airmani, what happened there, sir? Uh, so generally, that is the time, uh, especially in urban areas, people normally come out to vote. Uh, you will see a good uh, increase in the morning, good increase in the evening. That's how generally uh, the change makers come. They come in two waves, one in the morning. Morning was fantastic, more than normal. Evening was absolutely incredible, uh, extraordinary. And uh, frankly speaking, sir, uh, people did not take this as an ordinary election. Mm. And people took this as a very important election, a civilizational glory, a cultural renewal, as I said. It wanted a leader like Narendra Modi to make it happen, to, just to awaken people, just to uh, tell people that he is there. And today it has happened, sir, because you have to understand 2019, right. when they manufactured the anti-Modi wave, that, that they felt is the peak of Tamil Nadu, anti-Modi wave, we have manufactured, it is there. You see that and today. Mm. And uh, it, it is all, it is all, it is all, no, sir, we are truly happy and we are extremely grateful for Modi ji, his visits, his motivation, uh, his belief, and more importantly, uh, the people of Tamil Nadu's confidence with Modi ji. Mm -hmm. And uh, you one lakh voters are missing, uh, BJP cadre are, uh, are missing from the voter list. Is that true? Yes, sir, it is true. Uh, because uh, Dravidian politics, uh, especially TMK kind of politics, they are extremely savvy. And they use six months before the election to delete and uh, uh, they do all kinds of things. And uh, this is despite that. We have to understand this is despite that, sir. And they've done, they've done every tricks in the book. They stopped buses from running, they reduced buses. And many places, the polling was very deliberate. They took approximately uh, huh. one vote to happen. It took about a minute and a half in some places. And many places, DMK did Galata for the first time in Tamil Nadu, in Coimbatore. Normally, we don't see DMK doing Galata. Oh, yeah. They're coming, blocking the road, uh, distributing money within the 100 meter. So they tried everything possible within their game book. But, but we, were, we were pretty confident. We know this will happen. And uh, we were hoping that people have to see this and come out uh, beyond it. And today, people have made sure that uh, uh, we uh, we are we are going to come out beyond it. Whatever they do, hmm. uh, you, you, could, you could check the data. A complete urban buses they shut it down. And husband polling booth will be a wife's polling booth will be five kilometer away. Uh, just like that juggling, they don't want a single person to vote in two places. 
and uh, if your reporter is on the ground if you're seeing this to complete they may what about but still people travel people complain that travel to polling booths they check their name and still they voted that because this this election that that extra motivation was there sir hmm. is and it, they wanted to stand with modi ji and they did it today sir final question i know you're in the thick of things uh, beyond kovai are there any successes that you're looking for for the no, bjp no, we, we are looking at all successes sir. chennai uh, uh-huh. we are looking at the good sweep normally when i say this uh, people will say oh chennai sweep it is dmk's fortress but but you mark my words sir central chennai and south chennai will be historic north chennai has done extremely well and the thirunal valley kanyakumari all the southern belts have done phenomenally well tanjavur is one seat uh, mm. which we are we are hoping and we are praying that uh, we we are going to enter into the delta and the north tamil nadu looks very good and overall sir overall uh, a very very impressive turnout uh, overall we could see one trividian party's vote completely shifting to bjp i don't want to take a name mm. because they don't want to get into one more controversy i'm waiting for june 4th to let the facts prove right and uh, one one side voting has completely happened shifted to bjp urban voters have turned up in good, good numbers people who don't vote now people have taken trouble to come from different parts of the world to chennai to all the urban cities and uh, you will see sir it will right. be a great beginning for tamil nadu great right. interestingly that dravidian party you've not named at all throughout your campaign so that you continue to hold that line